coming into the program, uh, I did not want to take the position. I wasn't ready to stop playing at all. Um, it was very hard for me, but I didn't want to miss this opportunity because I love the sport so much. And so coming in and being behind the scenes, the first couple years, I have to admit, were really hard. And I wanted to stop, and I told my parents I wanted to stop, but you know they encouraged me the entire time. And I'm so grateful that I did have um, the time to be with the coaches and the players because they've taught me a lot. And I don't think that I would have gotten this experience and this knowledge um, without being around the team. So I think that being behind the scenes kind of gave me the best of both worlds because I could still learn a lot from everyone and then I also had my own time where I can go and explore the island and stuff so I'm really grateful. I always say I like to thank all the coaches, the staff, um, Tots and Uncle Eric have been kind of like my side best friends and then um, Kristen too. I'm so happy Kristen came along the last final year because she kind of just her spirit and um, being around her kind of just like lifted me up and it allowed me to have like to end on a really good final note. And of course my family, <laughs> my parents especially for sticking with me through the whole process and not letting me give up. My favorite memory of playing the Rainbow Wahine softball. Well, first would be um, experiencing the walk-off of Jessica Iwata when we beat Cal, oh my gosh. And then also Kayla's walk-off being, it was her freshman year and we beat Fresno. And just being there in, the, in that moment with the team, uh, I will take those back, those memories back and remember them forever. Also, when I hit my own collegiate home run against St. Mary's my junior year, and just being able to run around the bases and see my friends in the stands cheering me on and then coming home my teammates like they're so excited like Jojo you did it like I just it was one of, those are the moments that I will always remember. Okay well I have a lot of thank yous. I'd like to thank first my family for always supporting me and everything I've done and pushing me really hard with academics and in softball to get to the point where I am today. Um, my friends who were the sport as well, um, they always had to deal with like my busy schedules of you know not being able to spend time with them because I always had to focus on softball and school, um, but they always stayed close to me and always we never lost touch. Um, my, of course the coaching staff, Coach Bob, Dee, Lons, and Coach Dickey, and everybody associated with softball um, for pushing me and helping me like be the person who I am today, especially Coach Bob. He um, really emphasizes like the people who we're going to be and like the experiences that we're going to go through and he wants us to be not only good softball players but good representations of Hawaii and then as women as a whole. And so I've learned a lot from all of them. Um, of course, like you guys, the media, people, administration, especially our, my academic advisors who have pushed me um, to get good grades and uh, keep me on track with graduating for four years. I, it's an honor to, or just a hard work for only being here for four years and completing my um, degree in four years. So they really helped. And then of course, my teammates, oh my gosh. Like my past teammates and my current teammates, they've helped me through everything. Um, not only have they, we become good friends, but they've become my sisters here in Hawaii, and we've been through so much. We've had a roller coaster ride, especially the four years I've been here. We've been had our ups and downs, and I want to thank them for everything because they made this these four years like the best four years of my life. Yeah, it's a huge honor being able to represent um, this, the state of Hawaii. Um, you're like a little celebrity here and um, everyone knows you and I think it humbles you um, being able to play for the state, not only the school but the state and it's just, it's been so rewarding and so amazing and um, yeah, it's just been, <laughs> I can't believe that I've done that so sad. But yeah, it's just been really cool um, playing for the state too. I mean, everyone watches you. It's been, it's been awesome, like having him in TV games and everything, it's just been really cool. Um, first, I'd really, really like to thank my family. Um, my parents especially, they've been there for me since 
I decided I wanted to play softball. Um, they've been supporting me the entire way, letting me make my own decisions and just being there for guidance and support. Um, I'd like to thank Coach Bob, Coach D, and Coach Lons. They have been um, just really, like I said, a family away from home, and they've really taught us to grow as people and um, as young women and not just as players. Um, and then I'd like to thank Eric for taking care of me and <laughs> making sure that we are, are always um, in good health and in good shape, and James as well for taking care of us this four years and um, really putting in the time and effort and um, just making us stronger women. And then um, Tot for all the hard work he does and puts in behind the scenes. Not a lot of people notice what he does, but he really does help out a lot. And the fans, I'd really like to thank the fans for the support and just being there. And Yeah, I, I knew that um UH softball team was a, a dream goal of mine. Uh, when I actually committed to UH, it was an unexplainable feeling. Like I've actually reached a goal that I've had for the longest time. And um, just knowing that I'm going to be a part of the team and being a local kid from Kaneohe, you know, like, it meant a lot to me. Um, I'd like to thank um, every coach that I've ever had um, from when I first started, when I first picked up that bat, which started from my dad and then my papa um, and then every coach after that um, and Coach Bob, Coach D, Coach Lines, um, Eric, he was a big part of my life too. Um, he was kind of like my mentor uh, throughout the years. Um, who was, uh, yeah, my family. I'd like to thank my family for being there. Um, my mom and dad especially, they've been to almost every game that they could. Um, my brother and my sister, they're always there for me. Um, Good or bad games, they're there trying to encourage me. Um, my teammates, my teammates from every year that I've been here, um, they've all played a big part of my life. I've been through a lot of struggles throughout my life, or throughout these past four years, especially. And um, they were there, they're there for me to help me through it. And. I don't think I'd be as strong as I am now without them, without everyone in my life.